Well, it was a day just like this. Clear blue skies and hot. The hikers said they checked the radar and all was clear. But about five miles into their hike, the situation turned eerie. It was a freak thing. It just came out of nowhere. Tiffany Smith and her boyfriend planned for a day trip to Camp Verde last Monday. They were almost to the hot springs, crossing the river, when they noticed something wasn't right. It was supposed to be like thigh deep, and the second we stepped in, it was like almost up to our chins. Yeah. And I lost my footing in the rocks, and I kind of got swept a little bit, and my feet smacked against all the rocks on the bottom of the river. Seconds later, the storm hit. As I said, we need to get out of here. We started following the trail, and the sky just turned like completely black, and lightning was like cracking over our heads. It was terrifying. The two started heading for higher ground, but lightning proved to be another obstacle. They raced back to their car miles away, dodging everything Mother Nature could throw at them. Lightning was cracking at least a few yards above us, and it was like like so loud. It was like it would just piercing. You would hear ringing after it. They eventually had to take shelter in a bathroom just to get away from the storm. I stood under it. I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to keep going with this. And the hail was like smacking us. Before their hike, a park ranger suggested they park their car a mile up a hill just in case. And it paid off. It could be a nice flat area at first, but it could be raining as far as 15 to 20 miles away. Uh, it can be clear as day where you are, and that doesn't mean that the water isn't going to come through. The couple says they got lucky on this unforgettable hike. Like at certain points, I'm like, I don't think it can get any worse, and then it just kept getting worse. Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.